Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. So the workshop is pretty much back together from when we did it over uh, Christmas. Chris painted all of the floor. We've got all the boxes and bits and pieces back in. Chris has moved his toolbox out here. He said this bit shorter distance, it does seem to make sense. We had the welder out here and it really it could do with going away. We don't use it that often and he's had a right tidy all the way through. So, Chris is actually gonna crack straight on with the Fiesta, he's just cleaning out. Can I go in there or is it yeah, still, still not? Bits, still yeah. a few bits in there. Chris is just cleaning out all of the spray booths. So we put quite a few bits in here when we was painting, doing the workshop, just to get it out of the way. So he's moving all that out of the way. And then you're gonna crack on with this and try and get all of it done, Chris, aren't you? So. Yeah, I'm not sure whether to uh, put the rag pack in it first before I move it in there. It's not going to hurt because no. it can stay in. Yeah, I think do that. So probably. you're going to be here on the ramp. Chris yeah. is going to fit up the rag pack in this. Get it all on the button, basically. Yeah. And then it is just paintwork. So, Chris, have a little quick walk around with me because you're going to be filming this on your own. Yeah. I'm going to be doing another video outside. Yeah. So that's all right that's the wing from silver lake i don't think there's any filler work this side at all is there not I don't there's think a couple so. of little marks yes. actually it's coming off with a rub so this side maybe is not so bad but i know that the back bumper is quite scratched up but this yeah. is all just going to be flat off and a bit yeah. of primer yeah. right i think uh, only dents as such oh there, right. they show up, do they? Yeah, they do show up, yeah. Like the shopping trolley goes. Little dinks. And this repair on this swage, Oh, where they... On this swage line here. I don't yeah. know if you can see it in this light, but it kind of... They've lost the swage line slightly there. Yeah, and the you're, you're thinking there's not really any damage on this door, aren't you? Well, there's, there's a tiny little bit on that edge, I think. So that's, that's about it, really. Yeah. So I'm going to knock that back. Get rid of whatever fillers in there. See what you've got. Yeah, and then there's take the mirror off because that's been painted up there, not very nicely. It's it? got a big run in it somewhere. I remember seeing it. Yeah. And the wing is all based up and done. And then a little repair on this front bumper. Yeah, that's it, really. So not loads uh, and loads of work to do on this, but there is oh, still. There, Sorry. Not a there. I can actually see that now. The light. Yeah. So Chris is just going to basically go round and get all of the bodywork done on this and try and get this one ready to go up to the paint shop. Yeah. Ultimately though, when this comes back, there's another day's work on this car. Do you remember the uh, dashboard? The dash has got to come out. It's got all of the ducts missing. Yeah. The roof lining's creased up. Yeah. We need to take that out, get it wet and see if we can get that crease out of it. They are normally quite forgiving. So Chris is gonna crack on with that guys and I'm gonna go out and do the intro for the video I'm doing. Chris is moving along there very nicely as usual, guys. Got the rad pack back in there, didn't bother time lapsing that because you was already time lapsing taking this off, putting it back on, Chris, yeah. wasn't you? Um, he's got all of that rad pack back in there. Everything's all nice and secure now and it all fitted very, very nice. All fell into place, didn't it? Yeah, and pretty much so. Down here, you marked everything up yeah, with a bit of, bit of, bit of red. red pen. Yeah. Just so that when he put this front panel back on, because I wasn't here, and we got it so perfect last time, yeah. it just... It just speeds the job up. You ain't got to realign it, have you? It's back, bang on its marks yeah. where it's been taken off. That washer bottle, I struggled to get that out. Yeah, it but was that, was, that yeah. was because that chassis leg yeah. was bent that yeah. way, wasn't yeah, it? it was. It's gone in and and now that just plopped straight in there, did it? Fine. Yeah, um, did notice, you know, we had no aircon gas. Yeah. Checked all the condenser, couldn't find anything wrong with it. No gasket. No seal, no O-ring. So we need they to... They put that back together with no O-ring in yeah, it. Yeah, but they kind of done us a favour, really, didn't it? Because we haven't had to have it back. We haven't had to have it de-gassed, then we don't... I'm pretty confident the condenser's fine. Yeah. 
So, um, it's probably had a rad pack in it, is it? Do you think? I don't know. I don't know. But there is a bit of damage to that wire, that outer shroud. Oh, yeah. I'll do a little bit of repair on that. This yeah. stuff just pulls. Do you yeah. think we got some of that on that we van? Have, yeah. I know that we've got a load of that in blue off the RS Turbo, but you can't put blue on it, can no, you? We've found some of that. I think, Chris, that's not actually lost any. That's been squashed so it's, far down. It's right. It's been stretched it's, where in its, at some point, maybe when they had the accident. Yeah, it's knackered, isn't it? Yeah. But all sitting lovely on its marks and everything's going back together and all pushing into place. Pretty much. Perfectly. Yeah. Not quite sure of the location of that. That's outside temperature sensor, yeah, isn't it? it looks like... Uh, looks like possibly they're normally down here aren't they I don't know it don't look long enough to get along we'll find out where so it goes I'm mate I'm quite sure where that's yet somewhere there may clip to the bumper I don't know guys we'll let Chris continue on I'm going to go outside and carry on with what I was doing that was annoying me it was a little bit bent that was guys he's uh, pretty much there with it you've repaired that wire Chris and that runs yeah, that to the louvers there it is Moved it on there. Nice one, mate. And you got that off of the yeah. old Fiesta wiring loop. Yeah, that's right. You just said to me, sorry, off camera, you're not going to bother plumbing up the No, bonnet. because uh, the painter will probably hang, take the bonnet off, hang it up and paint it. Right, okay. And then Chris just recommended to me, he said, Rob, got the antifreeze in it. Going to start it up now. Just let that bleed up a little bit. But he said, grab the computer out. I mean, this is serious. We've got to plug it in anyway, but this is probably going to be quite funny because we don't know what they've... We don't know. I, don't, I haven't even looked if this car's got an airbag light and we know that they've messed around with the dash. I'm hoping that this ain't got any faults, but let's plug it in anyway, start it up and have a listen. But Chris did put the other horn on it as well and that sounds better now and proper as well. We've just got to find a seal for the air con pipe and what I'll probably do is when I go and have this gassed up, he's got a big bag of seals and that's easy to get to, isn't it? So I'll probably get him to do that. So let's fire it up and get it plugged in. So guys, it has got the airbag light. And when you turn the ignition on, you can see it comes on and then goes off. So we've had nothing blanked around. You all right there, mate? Yeah, just grabbing a few bits. Uh, that's the... That's for the side of the that's wing. That's the damaged one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So guys, I did just do the health report on it. I'd, and you know from previous experience, me showing this... It does start at obviously 1%, goes right up, and it does take five minutes, but there is a lot of faults come up here. ABS, two faults. BCM, two. Five faults. PCM, three. PSCM, that's not something... Oh, power steering control module, two faults. And RCM, resistant control module, one fault. So we'll just go through all of them. I'm probably not going to sit here and film it all because it'll take quite some time. But I will go through, key on, engine off, demand self-test. I'll probably go through, do a self-test on all of them because there is always a chance that these wasn't... A lot of people just clear codes and think that they're clear. Now, they are clear to a degree, but you do actually need to completely wipe them. But first, I'll do like a, a self-test on everything. And if anything comes up, we'll go through it and and fix it as and when we need to, or as and where we need to, rather. So I'll get that done and then let you know how we got on. So the BCM faults was actually daytime running lights, headlights, low beam, high beam, etc., etc. There was steering angle sensor on there. Not sure if that's something that we're going to have to look into if it can't be reset. What I did was I actually cleared the codes and cleared the fault memory uh, driver side seat belt restraint so this little thing here i think that that was an issue so what i'm going to do is actually go in and do a complete new health check and we'll see how many of them do come back so that abs faults come straight back bcm the same five i will click on there in a minute and show you it is just headlights Guys, this is going to take a little while, so um, I'll probably cut and then come back. So after a bit of backwards and forwards there with me and Chris, we've gone through and we've cleared everything. If I was to turn the lights on, this um, body control module one, I will come back up with those. Uh, excuse me, headlight faults. But this one actually got us a little bit, Chris, didn't it? 
It says anti-lock brake system, but when you look into it further, it's actually saying that that windscreen sensor sensor needs calibrating. It is a new windscreen, the chap had it fitted, but it needs calibrating to the to the road or something. Yeah, is it, but is it a, um, it's saying we get avoidance or something like that. Poss isn't it? Possibly, we will get Liam to have a look at that because yeah. that's something he can do. The headrest, I said it was black earlier, it's actually cream. Guys, quite a lot of you notice this here. Once we do get this wet, there is a good chance that this will be okay, it will be savable. See these lines in it. But a lot of you did say, has it got the curtain airbag in it? And we have had a look and it has got all curtain airbags in it. And I've just done a check on there and there's no airbag faults and it is showing all the airbags in the car. So. I'm going to run it up now, get it up to temperature, bleed up the system, and then we'll make a start on the bodywork. We're really happy with how that's all come out, guys. And like I said, when we do the numbers, you will see it was very, very inexpensive to actually do this car properly. We do appreciate, and we know, not everybody's got a frame machine and a jig. And we was just saying, actually, outside, we don't, you know, this is what we do. So... Chris has had that frame machine for a long, long time and he's lost count the amount of cars we've had on it. This was very, very straightforward to put where it should be. And did you notice, Chris, in that video, did you read any of the comments? People were saying it probably took longer for the people to bodge this car than it actually took us to repair it properly. Yeah. And I would actually agree with that. Yeah, it's a quick job. Right? It was a quick job. So you can see we have just given it a quick wash down outside and you can really see the difference in the <laughs> the paint colour where they've painted this door is miles out. Anyway, we've washed it down. We're quite happy with all the front and pulled it straight in the paint booth. And Chris is going to work on it in here. So you can probably just about see, we have used a black pen there, marking there's a car park thing there and there's also one right next to it. You can just about see it there now. So we've got two there in that door and in the passenger side front door all the way around here Chris is adamant that's had a bit of filler and they've built this edge up so it's going to be working on that also that there guys is not water that is the paint lifted yeah I've just pulled it off look that's that's the paint work it had had done and also this silver trim here Chris has marked that up because it's all scratched and ultimately we can't really leave that in there that's a window replacement yeah, as well because yeah, exactly. you, you're not you can't do them separately so it is just those little bits some rear will, bumper and front bumper someone will probably say about pdr yeah but a pointless exercise because the whole side of this car's got to be, got to be painted yeah. yeah yeah actually you did say that earlier didn't you yeah yeah guys there's not a doubt in our minds a pdr guy would get that out but it is point i mean it'd be a patchwork quilt if you don't paint the whole side it would and a pdr guy when he comes out i don't know for you for those of you guys that do say it, if you've ever used one they actually come out the last one i had he was 100 pound for the first dent and then he went round. he was 25 pound every dent after you don't want to call him out to do that it's like you say the whole side of this car is going to get painted and that's what should have been done the first time and then it wouldn't look like that because to me that looks like like light grey and that looks like dark grey it's just it's terrible so front and back bumpers and that little bit on the side Chris yeah this can go around a paint shop mate can't that's it? it yeah right let's crack on and get this done then So I popped over to Kemp Paints there, guys, grab a few supplies, some spreaders and some primer, etc. And Chris cracked straight on with this one this morning. He's DA'd off those two little patches where those dents are, got the filler in there. They're, they're really, really easy. We saw that, that they are just tiny little pin dents. And he's rubbed this down here and he found, actually found behind here a couple of chisel marks, Chris, do you say? Yeah. So there weren't no major damage, but the door had obviously bent out this way yeah. and they'd put a chisel on it and just banged it in. Either that or the, the, 
the wing that we took off was damaged, wasn't it? I yeah. Think maybe they've tapped the door to try and meet the wing. Right. Yeah. And and bit of a lash, really. Yeah, bit of a lash. So Chris has repaired that. He was telling me about this paint with his DA in it yeah, off. Yeah, just, I'm not a painter and no, I, I don't... Mind. But that's not right, is it? It shouldn't be picking up. Clogging up like that. All yeah. the, 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 I mean, did you get through quite a few? Yeah, there's all under there. Oh, all them under there just to yeah. do these little patches. So pretty much, that's, that just wants knocking back now and then. Do, yeah, is it, I mean, that whole door is going to need flattening off. I've not done it yet because I'm just concentrating on getting a bit of filler work done. But the paintwork on it is terrible. Yeah, that will that whole door will need flattened back, won't it? Did they? Did we establish? We did, didn't we? They actually masked up that yeah. seal because yeah. there's a massive, massive edge all the way along here. So that was quite easy to just pop off. I don't know why they didn't take it off, but <clears throat> then we know that the car was a lash up anyway. But it is going to be a beautiful car once again. We'll let Chris continue on with that. I've been out running around all day getting bits and pieces ready for other vehicles and other videos and Chris had already done this by the time I got back so that <laughs> that was the bracket that come on that headlight We've got some more um, raw, uh, not raw plug sorry plasterboard screws in there and that metal bracket that's what they have bought uh, screwed on there and if you can see these brackets, they're genuine folds, you can buy them, and they're really, really cheap. And they've actually already got the holes there, so you just cut off the excess that's there, and then bolt this new one straight on, and it's rigid. It's got its fit in there, and it's still fitting down there, that little pin. And they're the three holding points on that headlight, so that's all done now. And he's just in the paint booth, just prepping it, getting it all ready, masked up, ready to lay down some primer, so... He's uh, certainly moving along and I feel like I've been running around chasing my towel all day, but we're getting there. May get a bit, little bit of flickering guys because Chris has got LED lights in the paint booth. That is the hard work that wasn't hard work actually done properly this time. Like we said earlier on in the video, it was quicker to repair it properly than it was to do that bodge. But both of those are perfect. You filled them, rubbed them down, little bit of stopper in there, flattened it off. It's now all bagged up, masked up, and you're just about to knock up some primer, mate. Yeah, right? I'm, gonna, I'm only going to knock up a dribble right. to do those because then once it's uh, flashed off, I yeah. can unmask it, chuck it out, yeah. and then the bumper, I've got a little bumper. bit of knocking back down, and take the bonnet off because um, I showed you, didn't I? Yeah, it's got a lot in of... The, in the light, yeah, I'm not going to see, see it now. A lot of imperfections. And I could actually feel them when I rubbed it after you mentioned it. Yeah. There's a lot of muck in the bonnet, so... That's all going to want flattening off at some point anyway. The other thing but. is, a few people mentioned last time we had this inside out. Yeah. It was half price roll. It's rolled on the roll the wrong way round. Right. So rather than keep flipping it, it just... Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, actually, Chris, <laughs> I see a lot of people, people did mention it. Yeah. So, sorry, just quickly, is this inside out? Yeah. Does it matter? No. Nah. No? It's only a bit of mar a bit of primer in it. What did you say? You got the roll half price? Yeah. Because it was wound on there the wrong yeah, way. Yeah. We'll have another one tomorrow, won't we? So Chris is going to knock up some primer. And, uh, do you mind if I come in? I'll chuck my mask on. Yeah. Video yeah, here. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Do you know what, guys? I've popped out there just to do something outside. 
and Chris said he had to crack on, he's already put one or two coats. What's that, one coat, Chris? Yeah, that's it. Do you mind if I stay? Very, very dust coat and then, then all in one slightly thicker coat. I don't know if you can hear Chris there, guys, but he said a slight dust coat and then a thicker coat and he's going to put one more on it. Let me just put my mask on, mate. Go for it. That's it, is it? Uh, I might go one more on it in a minute, let that flash off. We've got it in the garden, mate. Well, pretty much there. That extraction's good. There's not one bit floating around, is no, there? No, it's not too bad. It'd be better if the dust was shining. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, there's not one bit floating around. Yeah, that's not too bad. It'd be better if the door was shut. Well, sorry, I'll get out. Oh, no, you're <laughs> So, guys, lovely to see that little Fiesta pretty much near enough ready to go to the paint shop. Chris did say he had a little bit left in the gun, so he's just going to put that on the car, put one more coat on it because he's going to be flattening it back anyway. So, just this is our first video back, obviously after New Year. Unfortunately, we didn't put one out Monday because we did work a lot over Christmas. Chris said, you know what, it's bank holiday, Rob. Let's have bank holiday off. We didn't work every day like, like it looked in the videos. Obviously, we worked really, really hard right up to Christmas to get all of those videos recorded and ready for you guys to watch. So... Thank you everybody that did watch those videos and enjoyed it. I uh, struggled to keep up with the comments in the last couple of videos. I must admit, it was like 1 a.m. in the morning finishes for me. So, first of all, I just want to reiterate something and a huge thank you, really. Just before Christmas and New Year, I think I have said this previously on a post, but I just re would really like to do it again. Quite a lot of people were saying, what's your address? We'd really like to send you stuff, etc., etc." And then someone gave Chris the idea of set up that buy me, a buy me a coffee account. It was a subscriber. It was a subscriber. So Chris went ahead and he set that up. And we're blown away, guys. The, so many people that bought us a cup of coffee. We both just want to say thank you very, very much. It really, really was a nice gesture. And we really did appreciate that. Thank you so much. The other thing is, would like to say a huge thank you. Everybody showed their appreciation to Chris on the workshop floor. Uh, and that, again, was blown away by that. It was really, really nice of all of you. And everyone said how nice it looks. <coughs> and even the little log burner, all, all painted with a new flue. I must call it a flue, because when I called it a chimney, someone told me off. So, yeah compliments to Chris he's got it really really nice and the third one was one of the probably the most popular comments and I genuinely didn't know the answer to it and a lot of you were saying what paint did you use on that floor because it looks that good and I genuinely didn't know so I said to Chris about it he said that he'd seen the comments as well so he shared the link with me and I'm going to put the link for this floor paint in the description down below it's from a local company and it does what it says on the tin, so to speak. Guys, I'm not gonna waffle on too much, but I'm gonna give you a little bit of an update. We've got one at the paint shop. It's being painted tomorrow. So we're picking that up Friday morning. That's one coming back. We got another one ready to go. We have got lots and lots of parts coming for different projects. So we got loads and loads of plans for the next couple of weeks. We got it all planned out and we got some cracking content coming for you. Again, once again, hope everybody had a lovely Christmas and a new year. Don't forget, please like, subscribe and continue to share. And we'll see you Friday in the next one.